I'm Liz with Liz's Crafts and today I'm going to show you three different B DIYs. DIY number one. So I have this board and I got this jar with a B uh, indentation on it or a raised area from Dollar General. It was a dollar and then I have the stencil that I got from LizYonke.MagnoliaDesignCo.com we're going to be using the Waverly uh, Antiquing Wax, some yellow Anita's uh, acrylic paint, and some black acrylic paint. We're also going to be using a piece of a sisal rope. along with these tulips that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going to take the antiquing wax and I'm going to put it all over our surface. And once it's covered, I'm just going to take a paper towel and wipe it off. Now my uh, antiquing wax is watered down quite a bit. Next, I'm going to take the jar from Dollar General and we're taking the yellow paint and we're going to give this a good two coats of the acrylic paint. So once that's the first coat, I do a second coat and uh, we're going to let that dry and we're going to take the stencil. We're going to use the part that says let it be. So I'm just going to cut those apart. Now this stencil did come in the April Craft Club kit and you can go to LizYonke.MagnoliaDesignCo for that. There is a different one for me. So I'm just going to fuzz the stencil. It is brand new and it is sticky and reusable. And I put it on my surface where I want it to be. There's some bumps or whatever underneath it. So I want to get those out. You want it to lay flat on your surface. And then I'm just going to take the um, chalk paste, which is in the color Almond Latte, which is one of my favorite colors. So I'm just going to take my squeegee and get a glob of uh, chalk paste. Well, actually, no, I didn't. I took my stir stick and put my blobs on my stencil, and now I'm taking my squeegee, and I'm just gonna go over it and push it into the design of my stencil. Once I'm finished with that, I wanna put my stencil in the water, swirl it around so the chalk paste doesn't get uh, stuck in the design, and then I'll clean it and put it back on the backing paper. So here it is, isn't that pretty? Let it be with a heart, a so cute. And now I'm just gonna take my jar and the black acrylic paint. I'm gonna take my fan brush and just uh, dip it in the black acrylic paint and take most of it off. And this is a uh, one of those silicone uh, protectors or whatever you want to call it and I'm you can wash it off so I'm just taking most of the paint off and I'm, I'm just lightly going over the jar so that you can see the design of the jar in the black paint it's going to look so cute and that's what it looks like so now I'm going to put my jar on um, my board I have two holes in the board and with um, the ties in there, and I'm putting the ties underneath the lip of the jar, and I'm pushing it then through the back hole, and I'm gonna tie that on, on tight, but you wanna make sure your B design is showing front and not on the side. So you wanna position it correctly before you 
do the twist tie or do the tie down tight. So now I'm just taking the sisal rope in my hot glue and I'm going to put it right over top of the uh, ties that are on my jar. And don't forget to cut off the ends of the ties. And then I'm going to go around and um, glue down the side and then cut off the excess rope. And I'm going to do that for both sides. So it's not going to go all the way around the jar because there's no way to get it around there. And you can't put it on first because then you can't get your ties on to hold your jar onto the board. And I do take a little bit of hot glue underneath the jar and um, put it on the board and just hold it there for a few minutes or a few seconds just for some extra hold. And here I have my tulips that I got uh, on sale after Easter from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just taking off the, um, the tie that was on it and the tags. And I'm just going to put that right in my jar. And that's it for this DIY. Isn't that pretty? So let it be. And then I have my tulips. And I just think it's so pretty. On to DIY number two. We're going to take one of these planter bowls from the Dollar Tree and spray it, the inside of it with the black, uh, black spray paint. Then we're going to use some Gorilla adhesive. Actually, we're going to do the Gorilla adhesive on the inside of it first just to give it some stickiness. And then we're going to use the black spray paint on it. And we're doing this on the inside of the terrarium dish, whatever you want to call it. So now I'm just going to take some uh, homemade Mod Podge, which is uh, a cup of glue. And it's Elmer's or all-purpose glue with a quarter cup of water. Or you could use Mod Podge. So I have this piece of black leather, and it's a thin black leather. Actually, it is that, um, I think it's the faux leather from Dollar Tree. So I'm just laying it over my bowl, and then I'm going to cut off the excess. Hey, I said the word right. Excess, not access. So we're just going to press that down. And we're going to make cuts along the edge of the um, pleather or faux leather. And then we're going to hot glue the faux leather to the sides of the uh, bowl. Um, Mod Podge does not work for this. You have to use hot glue. So I'm just going to go around and do every side and making sure that I cut slits in the faux leather so that it will lay flat on the sides of my container. And then I cut off the excess. And I usually put about three strips of the hot glue onto each piece of the faux leather. As you can see, I did try the Mod Podge on this, but uh, it, it didn't stick. So you have to use hot glue. So learn from my mistakes. So I'm just uh, going around the edges and flattening the faux leather onto the uh, bowl. And then just pressing it against the bowl. So once I get all of that done, I'm going to trim off the excess faux leather. To 
You just want to get it as close to the edge of the bowl as you can. And then once that's done, I go around uh, the edges with some more hot glue to make sure they are up against the bowl. Once all that's done, we take our sizal rope and we hot glue it around the edge of the bowl. And I'm sorry that, uh, you know, I, I was trying different angles with my camera, and I know this isn't the greatest angle, so sorry about that. So I'm just gluing the rope onto the edge of the bowl. And once I get around to uh, the other side, I cut the rope at an angle so that uh, once you glue it down, you can't really tell where one rope ends and the other rope begins. Now I have this uh, Be Kind um, reusable adhesive stencil that I got from Michaels. So I'm just making sure that I have everything off of the bottom of my uh, container before I put my stencil on. And then I'm gonna use um, some gold chalk paste. And this is a Sahara Gold from LizYonke.MagnoliaDesignCo.com. I don't think that particular color is uh, in stock any longer. I think it uh, has been discontinued, but there are other gold chalk paste in the shop. I'm just taking my chalk paste on the squeegee and then uh, pushing it through the design on the stencil. And then once that's done, I remove the stencil, put it in some water, swish it around. Um, later, I'll take it out, dry it off with my tacky towel and put it back on the backing sheet. And with the backing sheet, you wanna make sure you put it on the um, shiny side of the sheet if you put it on the other side you might not get your stencil back up and if you just you've just ruined it so now we're going to make a hanger for this so i just have a piece of thin jute rope and i'm just going to hot glue that to the inside portion of the uh, <clears throat> bowl so i'm putting a good amount of glue for both ends of the uh, jute So you want to make sure that all of the rope or all of the jute cord that's inside the container is glued down because if not, your container could hang weird on the wall. Don't forget to get all those glue strings off. 
And that is it for this DIY. On to DIY number three. We're going to be using this Sweet as Honey stencil from LizYonke.MagnoliaDesignCo.com along with this chalkboard stand, picture stand from the Dollar Tree. We're going to take our, um, oh, we're going to use almond latte chalk paste also from D uh, Liz Yonke dot magnolia design co dot com along with the uh, ink and chalk paste pins from the same company you get four chalk paste pins and four ink pins so the first thing I want to do is take my sanding block and sand the rough edges around this uh, frame I'm going to wipe it off and then I'm going to take my um, Waverly antiquing wax which is watered down and put it all over the uh, wooden frame. Then I'm going to take a paper towel and uh, wipe it. Once that is dry, I'm going to take my stencil and we're just going to uh, use the sweetest honey on this portion of it and then we'll use a little dipper a little bit later. So this is a new stencil. It uh, comes in two pieces from LizYonke.MagnoliaDesignCo.com. They're two different stencils as you've seen in the first, second video, first video. And uh, these are sticky, they are uh, reusable, so you do want to fuzz them before you use them on anything other than fabric. So I'm just making sure to burnish it down so there's no lumps or bumps or air bubbles. I'm going to take my almond latte chalk paste, which is my favorite color. I'm going to put some on my squeegee and then just push it through the design on my stencil. Once that is done, I'm going to take the squeegee and get up the excess chalk paste that's on the stencil and put it back in the jar. I'm going to remove the stencil, put it back down, and then work on the little uh, honey dipper. you want to make sure your chalk paste is dry before you uh, move on to the next the honey dipper step so I did make sure my sweetest honey was up against the left hand side of my um, chalkboard so I'm just making sure that my dipper the whole thing gets on my board so I'm having to reposition it a few times and once I get it on there I just burnish it down so there's no lumps bumps or bubbles and then I'm going to use my ink pen from LizYonke.MagnoliaDesignCo.com and you need to prime it first but I should have used a chalk paste pen those are the white ones because if I ever want to change out the design on this board I won't be able to get the ink off so make sure you use the chalk paste pen and that way if you ever want to change out the design you just wipe the whole thing clean and you start over so now I'm putting my chalk paste on the little dipper we've already got the honey covered with the uh, gold pen And this is going to be so cute. So I'm going to remove my stencil. And here it is. Isn't that cute? Sweet as honey. 
Now I'm going to put my stencil in the water. I have a um, a paper piece of paper towel in there and I've just washed off the chalk paste and then I dried my stencil on the mat and put it back on the sh shiny side of the carrier sheet. Like I said, there are two stencils in this package and this came from the craft kit from April. Uh, May does have a different craft kit. So here's our little sweetest honey sign. <laughs> 